Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the clubhouse. This is the last week of October, and we've had a ton of fun in our unmasking. We've been learning about integrity. Integrity is being the same person you are when you're in a crowd and the same person when you're all by yourself and nobody can see you. Do you like to read books or do you like to watch movies? I love to read books and the movie will kill it every time for me. But one of the things that I have to be real careful of because I get into the books, I enjoy them so much that sometimes I can pretend that I'm the hero of the story. And I tend to start thinking like the hero of the story. And sometimes that's a good thing, and sometimes that's not. I have to be real careful what I put in here because it will come out in my actions and my attitudes. And we're going to learn about that in our story today. Before we go any farther, I need you to do two things. Number one, hit like so we know you're here. And number two, share. Share so your friends can watch this as well. Before we turn it over to Pastor David, what I want you to do is grab your Bibles and turn to Philippians 4.8 because that list is what you're going to need to know for this lesson. Well, hey guys, welcome back and I'm excited that you're here today. We're going to do a little experiment. It's just going to be a quick experiment. What I want you to do is to not focus on the word purple elephant. I don't want you to think about purple elephants. I don't want you to have anything to do with purple elephants for this experiment. You can think about anything you want to. You can think about sports teams. You can think about uh, what kind of ice cream you like. Maybe even chocolate cookie, cookie dough ice cream. Maybe that's the one you want to think about. But think about anything except purple elephants. Let's go here. Let me get my watch going. You ready? And here we go. Let's see if we can go for 30 seconds without thinking about that thing we're not supposed to think about. Well, there's 10. I'll bet you you've probably already thought about it. But in case you haven't, let's keep going. Oh my goodness, we're up to 15 seconds. 15 seconds without thinking about that thing we're not supposed to think about. There's 20. 20 seconds about thinking about things that we're supposed to, like think about sports or think about our cool time we've had at church, but not thinking about what? Purple elephants. There was 30 seconds. I don't know if you're like me, but I guarantee you you've been thinking about purple elephants. That thought just went to your mind. What does a purple elephant even look like? Why would he say purple elephants? Well, you could check it out. It's called the pink elephant experiment. And it's just one of those things that when we focus on trying not to do something, we inevitably do it. It's kind of like when we get up in the morning, we say we are not going to push the snooze alarm or we're not going to be late or we're not going to go back to bed. We're going to so focus on that. And guess what we do? We get up in the morning, we do the exact same thing. Why? Because we focused on it. Well, Paul knows that. And Paul is now in prison in Rome when he writes the book of Philippians. And we've been talking about integrity. And so Paul is writing to these Philippians and he tells them this in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if any of these things are excellent or praiseworthy, think on such things. Because he knew that what you put your focus on is what's going to come out. And he knew that what happens is, is that we begin to think about stress and being scared. And we begin to think about anxiety and the things that bother us and our fears. And those are the things we focus on because those are the things that are prevalent in our life. Paul knew that that wasn't what we are supposed to do because that's what comes naturally. It comes naturally for us to think about those things, to be stressed out. I, I do that all the time. Paul said, listen, we need to think about different things. We need to think about whatever is good. If we focused on what whatever is good and then avoid whatever is bad, our focus is what we're going to come out with. So we need to think differently. If you decide to change your focus, you will change your behavior. I know that it sounds kind of strange, but listen, you do what you think about. Yeah, I realize that we can forcibly change what we do on the outside, but quite frankly, until we get a mental thing where we're changing what we think about, it will be hard for us to make that transition with our actions last at all. It takes 21 times or 21 days in order to establish a habit, they say. And I, and I don't know about you, but I am going to tell you this, that if you focus on doing what you're supposed to, being obedient the first time, doing those kind of things, then it's going to be all right. Because God intended for us to be able to live a life that's like that. A life that is focused on the things that God wants us to focus on. So, you ready? Let's watch this quick little clip about a commercial, about a pickup line, and then we'll get right back to our lesson. 
Well, hey, I'm standing here in the pickup line at Northside Kids, and we're back to having our small groups and large groups right here on campus. We'd love for you to join us. Well, hey, girl. I'd love to share the Bible with you. And we'd love to have you back with us in person right here at 9.30 or 11 o'clock at Northside Kids in the Kids area. Look forward to seeing you then. So, what are we going to think about? Are we going to think about the things that are like stress, anxiety, fear, being scared? Or are we going to think about the good things like our family and the relationships we had? Are we going to think about how God can take a good situation and make it good? Or are we going to focus on the fact that there's a bad situation and we're worried about it, whether God can make it good? Well, I'm going to guarantee you that God takes every situation in our lives and turns it for good. Because He promises in His Word to do that. The other thing is, is that we need to set our mind, our focus on things that are positive. We need to focus on the things that He wants us to do in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. I'm going to remind you of those things. It's the things that are true, the things that are noble, the things that are right, the things that are pure, the things that are lovely, the things that are admirable, the things that are excellent and praiseworthy. We're supposed to think on those things. We're not supposed to focus on the negative. We're supposed to focus on the positive. And that's what God wants us to do. Well, God is a God who loves us. God is a God who is always with us. We should focus on that. So here's your, your little second take two example. Now let's think about it. For the next 10 seconds, I want you to think about anything you want, but I want you to focus on thinking about the fact that God is always with us, that God will always love us, the fact that God is always with us in everything we say, think, and do. That's exactly what we need to focus on. You ready? Think about it. I already did. I already messed up. No, actually, I did right because I focused on what God wants us to do. Everything changes when we put our focus on what God wants us to do. Everything changes when we poke put our focus on good things in our life because we need to pause we need to remember what's true we need to focus our lives on what's true we need to focus our attitudes on what's true and that's that God loves us and we're very special to him and that's what I want you to focus on this week so pray with me will you father and help heaven help us so much to focus on the things that you want us the things that are true and praiseworthy and excellent and Lord, those great things, help us to focus on that. Help us to have a positive attitude about it. I pray, Lord, that you will help us to remove the thoughts in our mind of stress and fear and anxiety and being scared and being upset and have the thoughts that you have us to have. Now, Lord, walk with us this week so that we can see you move in our lives. We all want that. Help us to change our focus and help us to keep focused on Philippians 4 8. This we ask in your precious and your holy name. Amen. Hmm. So what we think about really matters. You know, the Bible tells us to guard our heart. It's not really the blood pumping muscle that the Bible's talking about, but it's talking about who we are in our innermost being. The things that we think about and dwell on when we think nobody knows about. Why does the Bible say that? Because the Bible also tells us that as a man thinks, so is he. So what you're thinking about is eventually what you're going to do. What you think about becomes your actions, and your actions become the things that you're going to be responsible for. Did you get that list out of Philippians 4 8? Here it is. I keep this on my desk at work because I need to remember every day the right things to think about. It says, whatever things, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, whatever is excellent, and whatever is praiseworthy. To think on these things, I guarantee if you put your thoughts in line, your actions will follow. Don't forget our memory verse this month is Proverbs 10, 9. He who walks the straight path walks safely, but he who walks the crooked path will get caught every time. The Bible will keep you on the right path. Thanks for joining us this month. We look forward to seeing you next week.